Hello guys, welcome back again. My name is Suvajit. In this video, we will talk about Android Intent. So first, we will understand what it is. Then we will see how we can use it to launch multiple activities. And guys, if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, then please do subscribe so that you will get notified whenever I publish any contents. Anyway guys, let's get started. All right, now let's see what is an intent. Well, in Android, intent is used as a messaging object that is passed between components such as activities, services, broadcast receivers, and ad sectors. It is generally used to start a component from other component. For example, we can start an activity from another activity or start a service from an activity and so on. Also remember there are two types of intents we have in Android, implicit intent and explicit intent. So whenever you need to pass data from your app to other apps, for instance sharing contents with other apps or opening a web page from your app. On such cases you should use implicit intent. So basically implicit intent do not declare the class name of the component to start but instead declare an action to perform. On the other hand explicit intent are work within the application. For instance launching an activity or starting a service or any other components. But you need to specify the component name or the class name. Anyway, now to simplify these two intents, let's jump into the Android Studio and see how to use them one by one. Alright, as you can see guys, I have already created a project and I have added two simple buttons called Implicit Intent and Explicit Intent. Also I am using on click attribute. So whenever we click on these buttons, Mm, this on implicit button clicked method and this on explicit button clicked method will be invoked. I think it is simple somehow. Anyway, now inside on implicit button clicked method, we will create an intent object to open an URL in any browser app. Okay, so intent intent equal to new intent. Then inside this parenthesis, we need to set an action. So type intent dot. Now here you can see all the available actions. And these actions are actually predefined unique string variables provided by the intent class. So for now I'm going to pass this action view because we are going to open a link or URL to a browser app. Anyway, now we need to pass an URL of URI type. So I'm going to create a variable now. URI, let's name it URL equal to URI dot parse. Then double quote and set any URL. Let's say HTTP s colon slash slash www dot google dot com okay now simply pass this variable anyway to launch an activity simply call start activity and pass this intent variable and that's it so i'm going to build this project now as you can see our app is running now if i click on this implicit intent button see google.com is opened 
and this web page is opened in the chrome app so i think this is a super simple example of implicit intent okay now we'll see an example of explicit intent as well so basically we are going to launch an activity from this main activity okay first we need to create an intent object intent space intent equal to new intent now inside this parenthesis we need to pass two items like source activity class name and the destination activity class name okay so now i'm going to create an activity because we have only one activity which is this main activity only right so file new activity empty activity let's call it um, second activity okay now i'm going to leave these settings as it is so click finish you can see this project is syncing now so just wait a couple of seconds okay so this is the activity we're gonna launch from this main activity okay now i'm gonna pass the source and the destination activity classes name in this parenthesis so activity main dot this then comma and pass the destination activity name like this second activity then dot class and you might have noticed this is similar to this implicit intent where as the source we have passed an action and the destination is url anyway to launch an activity or start an activity simply call start activity and pass this intent variable well now let's test our application okay now let's click on this explicit intent button and this is our second activity screen although it is absolutely a blank empty page now so what i'm gonna do is simply i will add a text view in this activity second dot xml then we will also see how to send data from one activity to another activity using intent like i said in the beginning that using intent we can send data from one component to another component although in this video we are working on the activity component only anyway guys let's see how to do this simple thing as well okay as you can see i have just added the text view called hello android with id txt intent so to send data from the source activity we need to call put extra method something like this intent dot put and here is all the put related methods actually intent supports all types of data it supports primitive data types arrays bundles almost everything now in this put extra methods parameter we need to set two arguments first one is a unique string that will be used to find the value in the intent and the second one is the data that is what we are supposed to send okay let's create a string variable first let's call it name equal to um, hello java let's also create an integer variable int m data equal to 25 so we are gonna pass these two variables value okay now let's set an unique name called 
text then comma and pass the variable let's duplicate this line then change this text to anything let's say data now pass the m data variable perfect now let's move on to our second activity and here we need to extract those data from the intent and for that we must call get intent method like this intent intent equal to get intent now to avoid any null pointer exception simply check if intent is not equal to null now inside this condition we can also check whether this intent has extra or not so again if intent dot has extra so inside this parenthesis we can pass these names one by one so if intent has extra text then only we'll try to extract the data from the intent otherwise we will not okay now i'm going to create a string variable string text then intent dot get string extra because we are passing a string value with this name anyway now we will pass the name text so this is how you should extract string type data from the intent but if you are passing a, an integer or any type of data like arrays then you should use corresponding get extra methods instead of get string extra okay now i'm gonna set this string to this text view so let's create a text view variable private text view Mm, let's say txt intent let's initialize it txt intent equal to find view by id r dot id dot txt intent now we can set the text txt intent dot set text and pass this text variable and that's it let's build the project again to see in accents okay now let's click on the explicit intent button as you can see guys our second activity has been launched and also the string data has been extracted from the intent successfully and displayed on the screen using a text view so i think now you got the whole idea behind the intent that what it is and how should you use it in your applications right so thank you so much for watching guys if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comment section i will definitely try to address them and if you feel this video helped you a little bit then please hit the like button that encourages me to make more contents and also do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever i publish any new content thanks again for watching guys see you soon in the next one